nationalism being an essentially subconscious, even irrational thing, can be wedded to many seemingly incompatible ideas. In the case of Canada, a lot of people, a lot of Canadians, feel a certain degree of pride in their country for its alleged multicultural makeup. This can actually lead to certain feelings of superiority over other countries. In other words, we all get along here, why can't everyone be like us? That's nationalism. It uh, can also lead to overlooking all kinds of nasty undercurrents in our own culture. For example, in this picture you see an Aboriginal Canadian demonstrating over 28 million dollars that the Canadian government, in this case the Conservatives, the Conservative Party of Canada, had allocated to reenact the War of 1812, while cutting 22 million dollars from programs aimed at improving the seriously deficient situation of Aboriginal youth in Canada. The War of 1812 is something of a Canadian nationalist favorite because we allegedly defeated the United States in this war. Historically this is very problematic, but that doesn't interest me in so much as the Canadian endless fascination with that war. And it points to the strong and enduring undercurrent of, I can only say, brainless anti-Americanism in the Canadian mind. The other part of this story that is told by this photograph is the abysmal treatment of the Aboriginal Canadians. I could make a hundred videos on this subject and never express the horrific nature of the crime that has been perpetrated against these people. And I could never express my profound fascination with the fact that they are nowhere nearly as angry as they would probably be justified in being. Let me assure you that my previous video was not intended as anything remotely resembling praise for Canada. It's just a place like anywhere else. I would merely like to point out that multiculturalism can work in an environment where an ethnically based national identity is weak.